<laughs> Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. There's an old song I was thinking about for you. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. What are you carrying right now? You got a load of care? You got a monkey on your back? Stomach tied up in knots? Waking up in the middle of the night in cold sweats? What's hounding your mind right in through here? What is haunting you in the middle of the night? What guilt is tapping at your door? And replaying that tape that you wish you could burn or bury once and for all. But somehow it never leaves your mind. It goes with you everywhere you go. It, manipula it manipulates your emotions. It manipulates your attitudes. It fogs and clouds your thinking. Do you know God can actually deliver you from all of it? He'll lift your load. He'll take it from you if you give it to him. And you know what he'll give you in exchange for all of your ashes? He will give you beauty. The oil of joy. <laughs> the garment of praise. He'll give all that to you. But you have to be willing to let it go. You have to be willing to let it go. I know that you've earned those years of tears and those hurts. They're battle scars. But you don't have to glorify the scars. You don't have to magnify the battles. God can help you not care about it anymore and move forward. It is impossible to drive your car staring in your rearview mirror without knowing you're going to hit somebody. There's just no getting around. You're going to hit somebody or something because you can't steer for what's in front of you when you're peering at what's behind you. Very dangerous way to live your life. So let's try to change our focus, shall we? Remember Peter? When Jesus said, come, and he, he bid him come, and he, he got the nerve to stick that leg out of that boat, and he walked on water. He didn't walk on water because he believed. He walked on water because of who he was looking at. God can help you walk on water in your life. He can help you walk all over your enemies. Your enemies will be your footstool, not the other way around. And God can show you how to walk on water in the midst of a raging storm. Now, the only reason Peter sunk and started drowning was because he took his eyes off of Jesus and started looking around and becoming intimidated by the storms, by the wind, by the waves, by the roaring of the sea. And guess what? Peter was standing, I mean, Jesus was standing right there. I know he was probably saying, Psst, hey, dummy, look at me. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm not going to put words in his mouth, just being funny, but making a point. But Peter finally hollered, Lord, save me. And Jesus had to grab his hand and pull him up. And he was back on his feet on the water again because he focused back on Jesus. Focus. 
turn your eyes on the Lord. I will lift mine eyes up to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. Psalms 121. Read that chapter. And let God be the lifter up of your head. God bless you.